Today's gonna be a fun trip, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on everyone? Welcome back into the channel Foster Picker. My name is Dustin. I'm Joseph. And today we are doing something completely different than we've ever done before. We're traveling two hours away outside of town, probably closer to three by the tail end of this. And we're going all the way up to Cleveland, Ohio to a store chain called The Exchange. Alright guys, we just got to our first stop of one of the exchange, one out of the 15 that we're gonna try to hit today, if not the rest tomorrow, so let's get to it. Yeah, let's see what we can find. So this one right here, we picked up the very last one. It's really not that great. We paid 18 bucks. It sells for like 16 on uh, eBay and I didn't realize it, but I can't sell this on Amazon. So that's kind of a wash, but that's okay because you, after you see the total from the first top of the day, you're gonna be surprised. Blitz Overtime over on Amazon sells for right around $30. After fees, it's like 27. We paid a total of 12, so an easy double up there. Another really solid title here, Dark Souls 2. Uh, this rendition, I don't know what's different about it, but over on Amazon sells for $54 after fees, and we paid a total of 12 on that one as well, so probably like a quadruple up on that title. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Okay, so Super Mac MMA, a title I haven't told anybody about yet, but this one right here is selling all day for six to $8. We are, went ahead and uh, picked this up for $8 today, and they sell for 27 after fees, and it's got like a 20,000 sale, sales rank over on Amazon. Really quick seller. And then last but not least, Fortnite for the Xbox One and Fortnite for the PS3 or PS4. PS4 version is over $170 right now on Amazon and moving really quickly 144 after fees and we paid $70 so that's a straight double up after fees over on Amazon this one wasn't so good this was $40 on uh on or what we paid was $40 but it was like 70 ish after fees so it's it's like a $20 up on the 40 so I figured about 50% margin still really okay with that $183 spent a day and in profit we're at $180 so we'll keep tallying that up throughout the day and we'll see where it goes Second stop is almost just as profitable. Sorry for the loud noise, but right beside a very busy road. So we got Borderlands 2, uh, pay 25. This one's looking at right around $37, so about $15 in profit. After fees on Amazon. Resistance Burning Sky, pay 20. This one's also right around the $35 range after fees, so another $15 in profit there. A really good solid score here, God of War for the PS Vita, and we paid 45, but this game after fees should sell for like $75. So I just scanned the barcode on this game, and as you know, we from the last stop, we actually bought one of these. And on the barcode scan, I'm only seeing $7 sold. But on the facial scan of the game, I'm getting 52. So we're gonna just assume right now that it's probably in that $30 range. I will say 
uh, we'll at least get our money back for it. And for some reason, this one right here, uh, I bought it and I didn't even realize I bought it. I'm gonna make about five bucks. It's 25 after fees on Amazon, uh, but not a bad score right there. And the last game that we have that we're, we're gonna sell anyway is uh, Dis Disandria or Dis Dis Disandria? Discondria 3. Uh, this one uh, as well, another $15 in solid profit from a PS Vita game. And also, as you guys know, the PS4 uh, cameras, very, very good. A hundred and about, what, no, we say $28 in profit? Yeah. $28 after fees and profit. We paid $50 a piece, so about 50% margin on those. And the very unique stuff we got here, Pokemon X sealed for $40. And uh, Dragon Ball Z, what is it, Ten Tenichi or Ten... Tenkai. Ten Tenchai? Tenkai. I, I used to Tenkai be able to say that. Tenkai. Yeah, tag team. So this one right here is $165 after fees. After fees on Amazon. But there's no listed and none, no sales rank. So I don't really know. I The guy told me this is the only Dragon Ball Z made for the PSP. So we're going to take a chance and gamble on it. It's 50 bucks, but it sells for 50 over on eBay. So at the very least, we're going to break even or close to break even on that. So third store. And what, and what are you doing with the Pokemon? Probably going to grade this thing. This is like three generations old, and it's got a beautiful seal on it. We're going to keep it really nice and in good hands so it doesn't get messed up. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really nice. The sticker, we'll just have them clean it off. So. Okay. So, so how much did we total spend oh, on this store? Yes, yes, yes. So we spent a total of... See if we can get that on camera. 353 after tax. 353 and taking the ones that we re, really don't the, know. Yeah, that we don't know. Take that, these out. That was about 100. 260. Yeah, 260. And we're making 180. 80, 85. Profit. Yeah. So close, we're getting close to that. Why is every Damn. car in this freaking town? So wow. loud. Stop, but nonetheless, we pick up Sly Cooper. It goes for about 40 over on Amazon. And we paid 20 bucks. $20. <laughs> 22 after whatever, but not too bad for three stops so far. So I can go bore you with this one, Borderlands, same thing as last time, 25 bucks, $15 come up. And then Little Big Planet, it's kind of weird, there is no sales on these so far from what I can find on Amazon, but on eBay they're ranging between $30 and uh, $40 complete, probably closer to the $30 mark, we paid $18, but I'm thinking with that one, like probably around $50 or $60 on Amazon, to be honest, just because there's none sold. Yeah. And it's a very popular game on eBay, so... We'll see. We'll see. Oh, stop number five.
heard of us. I believe a 3% used product bought 1% back on new. Okay, well that's good. Oh, we've bought Yeah, that's really good then. Um, do you need me to look up your card? Yeah, yeah. All right, one seventy six fifty five. Let's go. Let's give her two hundred. <laughs> Sorry, all these ones have got me flustered. <laughs> it's a, it went, went to one store and they gave me a crap ton of ones. Um, if you yeah. want. I travel to a lot of stores. You want to write down uh, your name and your number and the items you're specifically looking for. And if it, the store gets in, we can call you if they come in. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so probably our best stop yet in this exchange over here. Very friendly people, as you guys seen that lady or the, the girl manager there, or something. What, whatever she is, she was extremely nice. So we're gonna go through the profits on these with you guys. Eight bucks on Grand Trismo sells for twenty. Paid twelve. Blitz overtime. We've, you've seen us pick this up already. Twenty-seven and some change after fees. Bought it for twelve dollars. So that's an easy fifteen dollar pickup there. Mod Nation Racer twenty-seven. Paid fifteen. Looking at about a ten dollar profit on that one. The Walking Dead, the complete first season on PS Vita. Now this is a great game to be on the lookout for. Paid fifteen dollars after fees. Looking at sixty-three dollars for that game. Sly Cooper. We paid a total of twenty dollars. This game is ninety-five dollars before fees, and I think it was like what seventy-seven ish after fees. We paid a whole total of twenty bucks for that. And then Ragnarok Odyssey. And we paid 16 for that, and we we'll about double our money on that as well. Well, it's yeah, about $15 for yeah. that. And we can find I don't think one. we're gonna find any more. She told us there's no more in the stores that we're gonna go to, but we found another one. So that's another $70 in profit off of $70 spent. So you can't beat these prices, you can't beat this day. It's been going fantastic. And I can't wait to give you guys the total number from this entire trip. Yeah, so far we calculated for this stop uh, around $220 Yeah, or this so. stop was $220. And yeah. we've, we've already paid for the trip and some already with the other three trips because it cost us $100 for the hotel and we're calculating $120 in gas. But no more talking, we gotta get to the next store. Let's go. We got Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Plus for the Vita. This is going for $44 after fees, and we paid a total of 25. So what is that? 20 bucks? 15. You said 40? You said 40? 45? 45. 20. 40, yeah, so 20. 20 bucks on that. Not bad. And uh, guess what else we got? A beautiful Sly, Sly Collection. Sly Cooper Collection. We already talked about that. And this one's going for 75, probably closer to 65. Because it doesn't have the case. Yes, yeah, because no case, but still 65, pay $20. That's a $45 come up. And this one, Dirt Showdown, I think, I can't remember how much this one was. Holy crap, this, okay, so here's where I messed up, guys. So you never want to buy something that's 302,000 <laughs> in video games. So it has a sales price of $28.99. But what I didn't pay attention to was the fact that it has 302,000 in the sales rank. Typically, I try to stay under 100,000, and my margin's got to be higher on something that's over 50,000. Anything under 50,000, that's where I like to, I can slim my margin because I know it's going to move quickly. Well, lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. The last store of the day. I think we've had a pretty successful trip, haven't we? So far, so good. Can't complain. Uh, a couple of stores we could complain. But still, overall, you know, overall, that, you know what I mean? overall, not too yeah. much. Big sense.
right, last stop of the day. Didn't disappoint necessarily. We got Mortal Kombat for PS Vita. Now this one's $20, but it sells for after fees around $35, so we'll be taking a $1,500 home on that. Sly Cooper the collection, but not on the PS Vita. This time it's gonna be on the PS3. We spent $30 on this, and it sells for right around uh, 50, I think, 50 after fees, I would say on this. So it's a solid $20 come up on that. And last but not least, we have Saints Row 1 and 2. It's like a bundle collection. And I just so happen to walk by it and scan it, $25. Yeah, so for the total haul of the day, we are at $904. Yep. No, it sounds like a lot of money, but it's, it's, really, it's, it's not it's, that bad. So yeah, we have we make plans with Roman with any time pickers. His name will be Somewhere over here. here. We're gonna meet with him and we will see you guys tomorrow. So see you there. <laughs> it's a very nice place. It's yes, Roman. <laughs> it's me, anytime people, see? Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're doing the challenge. Whoever takes the first bite. <laughs> and not gonna get a second one. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs>